but no one else dared do it. And there were some people that did not like Muhammad Ali because of that very reason. How dare he? Combatants aren't supposed to trash talk each other. You're supposed to fight it out like gentlemen. The world was changing and Muhammad Ali was headed. And the fact that he took his political stance, he didn't want to go off to uh, fight a war that he thought we as a country had no place being part of. And he was a conscientious observer, uh, abstainer, and he knew full well the price he was going to pay for it. And he stood by his decision, and when he first made that decision, there were many more critics of it than proponents of it. By the time the Vietnam War had come and gone, and Muhammad Ali had been reinstated in the boxing world, uh, that certainly numbers had certainly flipped. That uh, a lot of people understood where Muhammad Ali was coming from. So what we're going to do today is give you a chance to uh, put in perspective your feelings about Muhammad Ali. Uh, his greatest fight of all time, if you ever got the chance. If you're too young to have been around when Muhammad Ali fought, but uh, your dad, your uncle, your friend, someone that uh, you respected, talked to you about Muhammad Ali and told you about what his career was all about and how he did things differently.